Chinese artist Tong Yixin is a collector, walking around in the city or virtual online shopping platform, collecting and buying objects and materials that are not useful to people anymore, then bringing them back to his studio. You can also see him as a philosopher by deconstructing these objects, making them fragmented and away from their original system, and then endowing them with new meanings in fictitious scenarios. He blurs the line between the real and the fabricated, using the symbol as the everyday objects to call people's attention to the metaphysical issues, awakening the deepest imagination and memories from the audience mind and heart. Then I just gather them from you know, everywhere from daily life. I collect them, you know, you can see those things from the street, from your friend's place, everywhere, the same as I find them. Well, you observe, you probably look at the, you know, the object for like three months and then something come up. Yeah, just, you know, observe and find out what the thing is or it's not, or it's been mistaken as or for something. You just appropriate it and make it for something else. But I think everyone look at different things differently. Well, they'll get some idea anyways. Uh, not my idea or not some other people's idea, but their own ideas. Yeah, I wouldn't want to limit the interpretation to my interpretation. Claude is allergic to unicorns using mediums blackberry, plush duck, laser cut construction paper, jump rope, pine wood, inkjet print, nails, video, GIF, paper, and other objects. This is a research-aided project on unicorns, narwhals, and musicians. Tracing the cultural origin and geometric shape of the unicorn horn, information from various contexts are manifested through a distinct forms of objects and used to create an unusual description of unicorns, with an air that is mythological and scientific, ironic and romantic, through a series of formal and musical translations, the sound emitted by narwhals is converted into modern, atonal music and subsequently performed through a synthetic voice as an opera. Though his work touched upon many aspects of metaphysical and philosophical propositions, Tong Yixin said there is no certain process that he follows to create a project. Maybe what you observe from the website are mostly uh, semantic, so you look at a lot of the texts and the titles, and then that might, you know, generate an impression that all those concept, concepts, they were imposed onto these works. Sometimes that was the case, sometimes I even, you know, write or figure out the title before I make the, make the work. But a lot more is that I make the work in the process or afterwards I have to figure out the title. So it's not really imposing something onto something that's already been pro produced. The linguistics or the language I consider to be just another form of the work, or sometimes just inform um, the work as well. For more information from Sun Ocean English Channel, you can find us online at en.sunocean.net. Reporting for Sun Ocean Journal, I'm Jane Stone.